Uh-oh. That's not good, Brandon. Basically, what had happened is Brandon and I went to watch a movie the other day. What had happened with that damage, I mean. Brandon and I went to watch a movie the other day, and uh, we come out of the movie theater, and he's like, where the f is my Raptor at? Well, someone had stolen his Raptor. And we were like, all right, well, you know what? At least I can get a new truck and whatever. They call him a couple days later and they're like, hey, we found your truck. You know, some random cop was running plates in this parking lot in, uh, I forgot where it was, near the border. And it popped and they actually arrested someone for stealing the truck. So that's, uh, he got it back, but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> so we're hoping they'll total it out so we can get another truck, but we'll see. Right now we're at Demolition Ranch. Shut up! Uh, yeah, we're at Demolition Ranch right now. Brandon has one of those glove punch guns from Inglorious Bastards. Uh, we're gonna play around with it today. I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm gonna test out the Starlink with this little portable power thingy that I have. Yeah, Demos Places is pretty much in a valley. There's a hill there, there's a hill there. And I wanted to test my truck is dirty right now. I wanted to test the Starlink with one of these portable power supplies. This is a Blue Eddy. Bloody. <laughs> well, where are you going to punch him at, Brandon? Uh, for the first time? Kind of like right on the forehead. I'm probably going to go the like... Glorious Bastards in the yeah. forehead. Oh. Delance, you might want to offset yourself, please. Hey, just for safety. Know. But just right to the... Nice. It's literally on a... Starlink so as battery far as you push in, router. Is how the firing thing comes out. Mm. Um, Free internet. So. Might be too many trees here. I don't know. It's trying. It said it found a satellite though, and it's trying to connect. So it's still saying entering Starlink network. It did a minute ago. So I put it on top of my truck because last time I was here, I put it on top of my van, and it worked. So we'll see. Maybe it's because of the clouds plus where we're at. It's complete overcast and rain right now. So here to demonstrate loading and to test fire, we have a round, a 38 round, that has had the bullet and the powder pulled, but it still has a live primer. Imagine punching someone in the forehead with this and your safety's on. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> there she Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, Jason. up on um, I'm trying to catch up on vlogs I guess I'll vlog some of me cleaning up the house I know that's super exciting stuff cheese hi hello how are you uh this is stuff from the PO box I need to clear this table off I need to get all this shit out of here um, I've been cleaning up a lot today mainly because we are getting kicked out of the house not really kicked the homeowner has decided to sell it so we're trying to declutter and pack some stuff up one thing I wanted to show you guys real quick though is while I'm opening my some of my fan mail to my PO box Check this out, man. There was no return address or I'd send this person something back. I don't want to put their name on here, but it's a, uh, it's a required, or excuse me, required, retired New Jersey police officer made this for me. This is super sick. Thank you. And if I find anything else cool, I'll show you guys, but I got about a hundred packages to go through. I've just been super busy trying to, trying to organize my life. I haven't been able to look through everything. Cheese. Looks like the Crispy Donut Company has sent me about a million patches and some other stuff. Want to throw some donut goodies your way? So thanks for the awesome content. Not sure how big your patch wall is. I'm have to expand it. Oh my God, dude. I have so many patches I have to put up there. Look, freaking right here. Uh, Covert Industries sent me a bunch of patches too and some lock picks. I love their stuff. All right, what we got here? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> dude, if you guys don't watch the lock picking lawyer, go watch them right now. Look at, look at all look at all these lock picks they're sending me. Covert instruments. Badass. Dude. Alright, shout out to Balahack Airsoft. Balahack Airsoft. This is the dopest thing I've ever gotten in the mail. So I wonder if it starts over. Alright, so this was inside of it. Ticket admit one. It's a huge zombie apocalypse type thing they were doing with airsoft. Look at this. Do it, do it, do this. Donut operator, we need you. Oh, it's so cool. 
damn it, I wish I would have made that, dude. I mean, I was busy October 28th, but shit. That is fucking badass. So cool. All right, got a nice little stack of uh, replies to fan mail going out. And check this out. South Wales Police. It's a, it's a wallet. Very cool. Thank you. I cannot read the return address or I'd send you something. John and I are heading out to one of Brandon's campaign events where he's going to be doing a meet and greet, shaking babies and all that stuff in Hondo, Texas. It's about an hour away from San Antonio. And uh, I've never been out here. John was just asking me what we're going to do afterwards. I'm assuming we're going to eat, but Hondo's a really small town. I haven't been to one of Brandon's like meet and greets on the campaign trail, so this is going to be kind of cool. Is it like a little deli slash specialty store? I don't know. Hopefully they have some food there. Look how pretty it is in Texas right now, though. Dude, this Silver Creek place, it's like a meat market slash everything. They have everything. Look at the size of these tomahawks, dude. Oh, this place is so cool. Dude, they have an entire chicken stuffed with dirty rice, a chicken stuffed with crawfish jambalaya. This place is so cool. John's out here boozing. Look at Brandon out here politicking. He's so handsome. We are done for the day, gonna head back home. This place, Silver Creek, I guess it's just called Silver Creek, is awesome, man. They do wild game processing out back and they had specialty meats and they have Merritt coffee in there which is some of the best coffee ever. Great place. Check it out sometime guys. <sighs> Trying to work out and be healthy for the month of February. We'll see how that goes. Right now I'm gonna go play Pal World really bad but I had to get a workout in and now uh, meal prep, hang out with John and then Pal World. Get all your priorities straight. If you got something to do don't go straight to the, to the Pal World. Love that game, dude. <laughs> I haven't been addicted to a game like that since like World of Warcraft, and I almost felt high school because of that. So get all your important shit done, like your body and your muscles and shit, and then go play Power World or League or whatever you play. Okay? My well, hell yeah! Three pounds of hamburger meat and white rice. Beautiful. Yeah, Chobani Greek yogurt tastes just like sour cream. And it's got a bunch of protein in it. And it's healthier all around. So yeah, that's what I use for, for sour cream. Basically, I love sour cream. You ready to make some sex puppets? Yeah. Yeah, those are the big ones. I need the small ones. Heather, what are we doing? Making sex <laughs> Jack, which one's gonna eat your ass? Uh, there's, this one. I'm gonna wait for the, yeah, I'm gonna wait for the best one. What's your plan, kid? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to make the, a nice set of lips. The gun, or the, ah, the fat itself. tits, yeah, yeah. the blonde hair. These, uh, you know, come in my mouth eyes. You know. I've never nice. fucked yeah. with that. Those are very cummy eyes. Yeah, dude. Really He's gonna be drinking that shit. <laughs> drinking what now? Come. Oh my god. <laughs> Just come. Right. Just come, of course. Is that right. cum you're putting on there? No. Oh. It's hot cum. Hot cum. It's the best cum. Those are titties? Yeah. Oh, it's burning my wrist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to get all this cum out. Look how fuckable this puppet is. Oh, yeah. I see it. <laughs> nice, so good, right? nice tits. Oh, I'm hard. Yeah. Nope. Like, look at, I gave her a little ponytail. You know? Look at her little bouncy hair. What's her voice, though? I don't know. Come on, do a voice. No, Jack has the voices. No, you, this, this is yours. <laughs> come here. I hate this. Mm, no, hate no, no, this. no. You need a little come come here, baby. You need a what? A Co combing? Oh. A comb? Oh. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You want 64 suck? Jack, is this the puppet that you're going to Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. Oh, totally. yeah. Totally. I like that. It's a very Cindy, Lo Cindy Lopper looking right yeah. there. Yeah. Girls, they want a half on. <laughs> I'm making a, a fuckable Hitler. Yeah. That's. Oh, look at that pretty girl. Yeah. Oh, you I get it. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. No, no. I want <laughs> cock. <laughs> Jack, she's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Jack. 
Why did you make the hottest pun yeah. in here? She like she looks like she's fun. sweet. It's because um, when I was a boy, I used to cut out all the different parts of the magazines and make one picture out of them. Okay. Jack's so definitely cool. made puppets before. Yeah. Look at how What's that? Open. Uh, Jake made the biblically accurate angel. That one goes in the naughty cage. <laughs> Listen, that, but it, you know, we got some. Some bondage ones. Got some bondage puppets. Yeah, some bondage titty puppet. I don't know. This is there's a lot going on here. Where's my Hitler? Heather shooting her Valentine's video today, and we're about to do one of those little skits she's doing. It's gonna be multiple skits going into her video. Uh, Brandon and I are heading to Dallas tonight, actually because there is going to be a gun buyback tomorrow in Dallas and Shaquille O'Neal is hosting it. Shaq, DJ Diesel is hosting it. So uh, you guys get a little travel vlog, I guess. Hopefully we get to meet Shaq tomorrow. Well, we're wet and cold. We didn't buy any guns. Haven't seen Shaq, but uh, it was a good event. I asked the cops, I was like, hey dude, I'm not recording. Can I just come say hey and give my support to the police officers over there? And they're like, no, you can't, you can't come on the property. <laughs> Mr. Jeeves, back from the file. Mr. Jeeves, I'm back from the buyback. Let's go see what's going on in the office. I think I figured out what to do in the new computer. I'm gonna destroy it with a hammer. No. I'm gonna do a single PC setup. Why I might have been playing Power World and I might have hit the level cap. I kind of love that game. I'm gonna give probably this one I built to Cole, the guy that runs the skate shop for me. And then I don't know what to do with that one, but I'm gonna go to a single PC setup and put that over here, and that's just gonna that's gonna run everything for me. Your skate cop, Brian, the guy that went viral for uh, doing tricks in uniform. There is a service dog named Ryan. I'm guessing that's Heather. Down there. Some guns. Heather. <laughs> Ryan, skate cop. Brandon. Horn dogs. You gotta take more Polaroids, man. These are fun. Brandon's wall. <laughs> the, uh, the Abe gun, Shinzo Abe gun, assassination gun. Almost killed Brandon in his video. Squirtle. Gale. Uh, that's Kevin Brittingham, the creator of the Honey Badger and the 300 Blackout Round holding my Honey Badger. There's him in my bed with my bedside gun, the Honey Badger that he invented. There's Kevin again. <laughs> I just wanted to take a bunch of pictures of him holding, holding the Honey Badger. There's Noel and Heather. Look like they're about to buy a Subaru. Nasty habit. Kevin again in my bed. I gotta frame that picture, I love that. Uh, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and I <laughs> give a shit less about ball sports, man. I always like playing them growing up. But, uh, Heather's filming her skit, Brandon's over there, Caleb's over there right now. Um, I just kinda wanted to chill. I'm gonna go grab some food right now. I'll probably meet up with them later. I'm sure everyone's at home watching the Super Bowl. I think it starts here in like an hour. I don't care, man. I might, I'm gonna watch the commercial compilation. You know, tomorrow on YouTube or something, but that's that's about it. I don't even really care about that that much either. I wonder who's playing at halftime. Oh, I think it's Posty. God, we gotta get him shooting with us. February 12th. Hello, everyone. The shop's going good. I do need to re-up on shirts. We're starting to run out of larges specifically, so I gotta go by Bunker. Re-up on that. I just came in here to clean up a little bit. Other than that, I'm leaving the cop car out here. The... <laughs> The TRX finally got fixed. They put a brand new engine in it, which I would like a new truck, but we'll talk about that one later. I am leaving the cop car here though for Mr. Cole. He's about to get his driver's license and I think he should have a decent vehicle to drive around at first until we can, you know, until we can get something a little better. But it's a great first car. It's what I would have given John, but John's got a couple more years left on him and Cole's been a really fantastic worker here, so I'm gonna give him that. So we're gonna go pick up the truck. I cleaned out the cop car. It's the best thing I had. I don't have a box. I just threw it all in a garbage bag. I'm gonna go, gonna go grab the TRX, and hopefully it's running well, and the engine doesn't explode this time after a couple thousand miles. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, uh. 
my god, my engine works in my new truck. That's really cool. Told me to keep it under. They told me to keep it under 55 miles an hour, and I'm sure I'm gonna do that. But uh, truck's back. Seems like it's working okay. Very cool. Very cool. Burning up Dodge was super cool. So we got a full long block replacement engine lot like all this stuff just everything no charge no charge no charge no charge so Bernie of Dodge was awesome Dodge of Bernie so Dodge of Bernie was awesome uh, that just kind of sucked man <laughs> so I bought this from Nissan of Bernie with like 70 something miles on it got a good deal on it that's why I got it used technically uh, it's just it's weird the coolant started leaking into the engine and it blew up after 8,000 miles so like I said Old uh, Dodge, Dodge of Bernie was awesome. All right, let's go hang out with Brandon for a little bit. I just got a text from Windagoon. Him and Turkey Tom are coming down and Turkey Tom's gonna film a video with us. Uh, he might make a little documentary about it. But yeah, we're gonna take old Turkey Tom and Windagoon out to a range day. That's gonna be a fun video. I'm almost caught up on vlogs, so you guys are probably gonna see this in the month of February. And then I'm gonna start vlogging hardcore because I really, really, really want to get this channel going. I want to focus more on unsubscribe and this channel, like more than the main channel. I want to try to start edging away from police content. We'll see what happens. Be Valentine's Day, everyone. Uh, Heather and I decided just not to go anywhere. It's too crowded. Everything's packed out. We didn't make reservations, but we're not big holiday or especially Valentine's Day people. So I'm gonna make some creamy. Uh, creamy queso chicken burritos. Little recipe I got offline, kind of modified it. So stab some chicken with a fork, put some lime juice and taco seasoning on it. Then you blend up cottage cheese, Greek, uh, Greek yogurt, red enchilada sauce, salsa, a couple spices, right? Mix it all together with some cheese in a bowl, put them on your burritos, and then pop them in the oven for like 10 minutes until all the cheese is melty. It's probably one of my favorite recipes, and I'm definitely gonna put it in a cookbook when I start writing it again. I've been so bummed out because those people stole the cookbook. And it's just hard to start another one, but I need to just jump on that and do it. I've been saying I'm writing a cookbook for like four or five years now. I might start streaming again. I might start doing cooking streams again. I'm not too sure. Heather's video was released today. She did a Valentine's video. I'm in it a little bit. Brandon Herrera's in it. Of course, Jack and Caleb and then Jake Watson from Corridor Digital are in it. Basically, it's like if love stories were real and we just make fun of a bunch of different love movies and it, it's pretty good. There's vomit in it. There's the word retard in it. A little bit of sexual assault. Gay vampires. Uh, my collection's getting a little dull. I think I've told you guys this a couple times. I collect shift blades. A lot of these are uh, handmade. I bought, I've been collecting them for years. It's probably a, fuck, it's probably like a $5,000 collection at this point. Speaking of money, if you're, if you're an adult, do you ever just one day you just realize like, holy shit, I can buy the cool stuff I wanted as a kid. I have money now. I'll show you what I've been looking at. I don't know which one to get though. Do I get the Millennium Falcon, Falcon or do I get the AT-AT? I think I'm gonna go with the AT-AT. I haven't built Lego, I haven't built Legos in a while. John and I could have some fun with this. But up. I recently got back into manga.